what can you reframe? What can you think and change? The next time you hear something negative, I want you to reframe what's been said. And I want you to see how easy it is to reframe what's been said. And if you think of something that needs reframing, why don't you put it in the chat and I can help you reframe what you've heard being said. And we need to do that with our clients. When they come in, we need to figure out what their boundary is, what's stopping them from moving forward. Mentoring with Geraldine is a bite-sized practitioner podcast for naturopaths, nutritionists, herbalists, coaches, and practitioners. This podcast responds directly to the needs of you, the practicing natural therapist. We have interviews during the holiday season and business and mindset support each week so you'll get the variety you need to enjoy and stay motivated in your practice. Don't forget to subscribe to receive the weekly episodes. And if you want to connect with me, always check the show notes because that's where you'll find the links to book appointments and of course, to join the Academy the membership group where there's constant connection and community with like-minded practitioners. Now, let's get started. Hello, everyone. So a little bit different. I could have put a fake background behind me, I guess. I'm in the spare room. I don't know about you, but when it gets to this time of year for us here in South Australia, it gets quite dark and it gets very dark in my front room. I mean, the houses are designed to be cool, aren't they, in Australia? And so we've got a big veranda. It's California bungalow, so you all know what I'm in. But it's a big front and I'm in the front room, so it's really dark. So I have the light on and I have lights on, but sometimes it's hard to drag yourself in there, especially on a Friday, which is sort of officially my day off. But of course, Because it's officially my day off, it means I've got time to be on social media. So here I am. Now let's get down to business. Reframing is a really important part of who we are and what we do, right? So reframing what we think is super duper important. When we reframe, everything is a reframe, right? So you get Brussels sprouts on your dinner plate and you hate Brussels sprouts but you're a guest and you can't really do anything about it. You've got to eat the Brussels sprouts, so you've got to be rude. So the reframe, what's the reframe in your mind? Well, I don't want to be rude, so I'm going to eat the Brussels sprouts. I can say maybe that they might at least enjoyable vegetable, but I can also tell the person that they've cooked them really nicely and it's perhaps made me change my mind. We reframe everything we do anyway, right, to fit in with society. When society bucks against us, so your client arrives and they sit down and they're not really having any success doing what they do, what they're doing with somebody else. And they come to you and then they're like, no, I don't like taking tablets and I don't like drinking drinks and I don't like doing this and I won't do that. We have to help them reframe because those are their boundaries. And we have to understand what those boundaries are so that we can help them to reframe, reframe. Now, one of the things that you will often hear is your client will turn up and they've you know, seen a surgeon or they've seen a specialist in some area or other. And then they've said to the specialist, oh, I'm doing taking vitamins or whatever. Now, I saw a specialist recently and I said, I was doing this particular tapping thing. And he said, well, if it's working for you, go with it. Great response. That's what hopefully many of them are saying. But in this client's case, and this is an example of mentee so on the Monday group so the clinical sessions group so she asked the question in clinical session you know what am I going to give this woman she's got all these problems but she won't take anything and she's been told by this really unhelpful specialist that she won't digest vitamins anyway so there's no point taking them now this is where the reframe this is where understanding language comes in so you're going to hear from that client oh I can't take it I was told I'm not going to digest them So there's no point me having them. It's a waste of money. I'm going to pee them out. That's another one. I'm going to pee them out. All right. Lots of people will say to you, what's the point of taking B vitamins? You just pee them out anyway. So these are where we need to reframe for our client for them to understand the purpose of taking these things. Now, for that first client, the one that the mentee was talking about in the Monday group, I would not even give her a vitamin because she's too into her problem, right? Her problem is stopping her moving forward. That's the same with everyone. 
things stop us moving forward and it's usually us that stops us moving forward. It's not normally the issue. It's not normally the actual symptom or the actual problem that stops us moving forward. It's us. Clients will see garlic, they'll say alanine or alicine on the back of a tablet product. They go, oh, I can't take that. I can't take that because I'm allergic to garlic or I'm on FODMAPs and so I can't have garlic. And it's like, well, no, actually, this is denatured. Totally tons of stuff has been done to it so that you can take it. They're like, no, 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 I can't have it. Their own roadblock, right? They are the ones who are stopping themselves from moving forward. We have to find a different product, one that doesn't have the component of garlic that is used in a lot of our products to work with them. And we just do that anyway, don't we? We just go, okay, fine, you don't want to take that product. I've got this one anyway, because we've got tons of companies, tons of options. We should never stick with one company or one product because one company and one product are not going to suit everybody. That's why we have so much available to us. And that's why we have, there's lots of POPs, there's lots of products just for us, but there's also a ton of commercial stuff, chemist stuff that's good quality as well, that's made by our companies that we can send people off to get. All right. So the reframe for the other two, the number one, I've been told I don't, doctor said, I'm not going to be able to digest vitamins anyway. Well, that's easy. We just say, no worries at all. Absolutely right. Your stomach is below capacity. So you probably will struggle to digest anything like vitamins. So what we're going to use is only nutritionals. Now, nutritionals will have vitamins in there. They'll have them in a powdered form. So unless you're going to give pure PHGG or something. But if you were to give Lots of these products have got like a B vitamin here and there in them. You know, you want to give something alkalizing, there might be a B vitamin in there. But you're not going to harp on about the vitamin. You're going to harp on about the other part of the nutritional itself. Or if you're a herbalist, you can turn around and say, that's fine. We're just going to stick with herbs. You will digest those because, of course, they're in a liquid form. The ones I use aren't alcoholic or I use a combination of, like, well, personally, I use a combination of alcohol and non-alcoholic herbs. So if we put them in hot water to burn off some of that alcohol, then you'll be able to take them really easily with food, no vitamins, because they're liquid, you'll digest them. All right. So we've reframed for that client, but all we've done is just move to a different product. We don't have to use vitamins to start with. A digestive enzyme is what's going to help that person the most because, and then we're going to say, when you're going to need a digestive enzyme, your stomach clearly isn't working properly. So what we've done is we've got them to understand somebody else's negative input. Now, the other one that's out there is, of course, you know, I'm just going to pee it out, right? There's no point my having any B vitamins or any vitamins because I'm just going to pee it out. So we just say, oh, yes, absolutely right. We always pee out the parts we don't need. The body's very good at deciding what we do and don't need. And so what I say to my clients, like this is my conversation with them. So what I say to my clients is, if you don't think you need it that day, B vitamins will give you energy, they'll support whatever it is in this product that I want it to do. But you know, at the weekend, say a Sunday, you're relaxing, you're not doing anything. Maybe you don't need to take it on a Sunday. Maybe you can skip that day anyway, and it won't be a problem. Others of the B vitamin family are actually fat soluble. So you don't pee them out anyway they will come out in the bowel movement. But what the body does is it takes what it needs and it gets rid of the rest, which is why you see bright yellow urine. If you're not seeing bright yellow urine when you're taking a B vitamin, then chances are you need more of it. Chances are you're not breaking it down as you should and we need to look at a different product. Maybe for you that means you need activated Bs throughout. So let's really think about how we can reframe negativity that our clients bring to us, reframe those discussions that our clients arrive on our doorstep with. Now I'm sitting in the sun. Reframing for our client is really important when we're looking at everything we do, when we look at how we discuss things. Okay. So think about it. What can you reframe? What can you think and change? The next time you hear something negative, I want you to reframe what's been said. And I want you to see how easy it is to reframe what's been said. And if you think of something that needs reframing, why don't you put it in the chat and I can help you reframe what you've heard being said. And we need to do that with our clients when they come in 
we need to figure out what their boundary is, what's stopping them from moving forward. It might be they think, I'm taking too many tablets. So if you do interclinical HTMA and then you follow their suggestions, you'll find that there's actually a lot of supplements, you know, like they're suggesting like eight supplements. You're looking at it going, what? I don't want to give six supplements, eight supplements. Although I had someone the other day and they only came back with two. But if it comes back with all these supplements, then you need to explain to your client, well, that's because each of these supplements is only one thing. It's only got one item in it. It hasn't got a ton of things in it. So that's why it's eight things. And no, I can't find, I would like to be able to find one product that gives you all of these things, but I can't find one product that has got these things without other stuff we don't need. Your copper's high and the majority of plain B vitamins have copper, for example, or iron and your iron is fine. You know, we don't want to add that. So I can't give you a different product and these are all really, really quality products, low excipient made in Australia or all the rest of it. So we've got to remember our language when we're with our clients and when we're talking about products and how we use products, because we only want to be giving Ostel, apart from the fact we can only prescribe Ostel products because we're in Australia and we're practitioners or association accredited practitioners, which means that you can only recommend Ostel. You cannot recommend anything that is not Ostel. And there's a really good reason for that because when people come out with the, oh, they did the research and it's not what it says it is on the can, that research is about American products, all right? That research by an Australian is about that person had to go overseas to find product that wasn't what it said it was on the pot. They couldn't find them in Australia because of Austel, because the TGA is so strict, because the companies in Australia have to be held to the very highest standard. And they are. They're the highest standard in the world. Everybody else looks at us and goes, wow, look at those products. Our products are more expensive because the companies have to go through that and because we have a higher standard of living. So everything costs more. Our staff costs more. Everything costs more. So think about how can I reframe to make sure that my client get the best from me when they come in with something negative that they have been told or they have been heard. So sit down and reframe. Think about those past clients that have said to you, oh, this or that, I can't do it for this or that reason. Or I've been told this or that problem. Okay. So go through and have a look and or have a thought. You can look at your clients. You might need to look at the client's names to remind you the conversations you've had with them. But chances are there's an annoying conversation in there somewhere that you've missed now, you've probably missed the opportunity, but that's fine, that doesn't matter. But that's the reframe and the reframes we have to learn. Remember, I've been doing this a really long time. (laughs) So so I'm going to have the reframes ready and you guys haven't been doing it for as long as me, so you haven't necessarily got your reframes all nice and ready, all right? So think about it, really have a thought about that. And of course, that's where my Monday group comes in so well, my clinical Mondays, is people can ask these questions. This client has said they won't take this or they don't like that or what's an alternative to this because they're allergic to that. So that works really well. And I've got some exciting news coming up as well. So a lot of changes going on with my courses and I've got an incredible, wonderful, wonderful course coming up. I will start talking about it. That's why I'm in this room because there's nothing on the walls and I've got a whiteboard in here. And my 90-day program, the one-to-one program with me, is just going to blow you away when it's all done. But yeah, that's all under wraps at the moment. Only myself and my my staff know about that. So we're about to have a meeting. I better go. About to have a meeting with my staff about the upcoming changes and what they all need to create to go towards the changes that are happening. And you're going to love it. I've been sitting there, worked out, got a long list. I do love long pieces of paper because then you can have a long list. But of what's going to happen when and how many weeks and all the rest of it, just blowing my mind. So time for me to go. I look a bit odd sitting here with the sun lining up across me. I need to probably shut the other curtains so I can see. Have a good one. And I look forward to catching up with you next time. See ya. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to rate, review, 
and subscribe to the podcast for the weekly episodes. If you'd like even more support and learning, then the Academy is for you. Here you'll find part two of the herbal discussions, more clinical learning and case studies to support your clients in practice. Bye for now.